Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 23T Depot Hack. You guys saw this on my recent haul that I got from the MDA uh, model car show up in Roanoke, Virginia. I got this at a raffle. I won it off the raffle. And I've seen it and I've actually got one of the earlier editions of it right here. Yes, that is Toys R Us, but that is a old Toys R Us sticker. It's a $2.23 uh, model kit there. It may have been a clearance sticker. I don't know. But anyway, that's an old one. Kit number T42 still in the plastic. And I got another one, but then I got this one recently. And I thought, well, I think I've got three now. I can probably build one. So, um, I commenced to go ahead and take all the parts out. I mean, you guys have probably seen this. Um, uh, several times. I only said hundreds of times, but I'm, I'm sure you've seen someone unbox it before. Don't have to do that for you because you want to see it built, not unboxed necessarily. I know certain kits are cool to unbox, but anyway, so this kit, I don't know the exact age of it. I'm, I'm not saying this kit, but I'm saying the molds that, that it came from or its original release date, but it was quite old. May have been in the 60s. Um, Might have been in the 70s. Anyway, um, it's in, so, so what are you trying to say, Matthew? The AMT kits from, you know, if you get a kit that's from, uh, early to say the least, you're going to have some, you're going to have some, uh, issues. When I say issues, it's like, you know, lots of cleanup and stuff. So with that said, um, things got more parts than you think it does. It doesn't look like it would have very many parts, and I didn't look at the box. Let's see. I got the box bottom right here. Let's see what her, what she says as far as parts count. Oh, da, 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 da. I don't even know if round two does parts count. Um, no idea. Don't see it. Okay. But anyway, there's the bottom of the box. But regardless, it's got quite a few parts. And what I've done is I've I always take everything off the trees, and I have cleaned all the parts except this little pile right here and I say cleaned I have taken and scraped and sanded and scraped and sanded and scraped and sanded um, these parts so I'm getting it together I do have a few like little things assembled these two spare tires I do have them together I did put a few parts of the engine together but as far as it goes it's just cleanup I've probably spent two hours in total not at one sitting but I probably spent about two hours in cleaning this um, it's enjoyable it's not enjoyable to clean flash but knowing that this kit comes from far uh, uh, quite a ways back and knowing that I'm getting something from those molds um, doesn't bother me in the slightest to have to do some cleanup because you're still building building a classic model kit, regardless if it was put out in 2012 or I mean uh, 20 or whenever round two re-released this one, more than likely the molds that were used are the same ones uh, that they used to initially for this kit. So it's cool. I like to I like to think about that. I like to think I am building a kit that uh, pretty much is the same way as a kid back in the either the 60s or the early 70s would have gotten this kit and um, I get to do the same thing they did except I have newer technology like to me uh, uh, extra thin and Mod Podge and uh, leveling thinner and MCW paints and airbrushes and on and on and on so it's not the same obviously because I do have all that someone at the uh, MDA car show <laughs> I think it was <laughs> I think it was Michael Cook um, I was talking about the, uh, 48 Ford that was given to me. Uh, we were standing there talking and I said, it's cool that I, I got to build that kit like uh, a kid back in the sixties. He says, no, you didn't Matthew. He says, if you build it like a kid back in the sixties, you'd be brushing the paint on it. And that's very true. So, um, realizing that I have modern technology and, uh, paints that are worlds, um, away from what they used to have it makes a huge difference in the outcome. So anyway, all right, enough talking. I'm gonna keep cleaning this little pile right here and see if I can't get it uh, ready to go and a few other little pieces I see. 
but that's pretty much it these little small pieces that's pretty much it it also comes with like a convertible top that that's uh must have been in a like a model t car or something like that because this has no um place for that that top so that is a spare part that you get with it not that you would ever use it but there's your spare part all right so let me get with it and uh i'm not going to say stand by <laughs> i'll be right back all right so this is where i am so far i got the engines built it's laying on its side chassis together if you guys are up for a challenge and you don't want to build a 48 ford by imc get you one of these um vague is an understatement <laughs> as far as the instructions go like i mean there's like the chassis i don't find any mounting points um where it goes onto the fenders and all and that's weird how this is you like do the fenders and all going here and then i don't know it's just kind of a peculiar way to do it but yeah vague is an absolute understatement on on it and as i already mentioned being it, it its heritage comes from way back um yeah oh boy thankful technology in model building has or at least model making um, and uh, molding has come a long way um, things like locator pins and things like that um, but yeah it's coming along but boy did I underestimate this thing I do think though I recall when HPI guy built this kit several years back I think he mentioned something about it being a challenge but it might have been the delivery van uh instead of this i don't know but yeah I'm, I'm making way but oh boy is it a uh oh boy is it a challenge so i've got the i'm trying to figure out how am i going to the top is black but the under portions this is not mounted i can take it off so that's supposed to be wood under there um, and on the side, this, well, shoot, this side piece here is going to be uh, wood too. So I think I'm going to paint the wood and then after that tape it off. But I'm wondering because another issue is I want to have the front bulkhead or whatever you want to call it already uh, glued together. And to do that. I gotta have the roof on it so then all that will have to be I don't know hmm it's kind of scratching my head it's not the uh, traditional way I build things with this one um, I don't like to have a lot of glue points after things are painted because those are where your my at least my problems really arise so I'm trying to get as much together and then I can wood grain it or um, wood paint it um, and then uh, paint the roof separate. Anyway, I don't know. All right, here we go. All right, so got some paint on it. I painted the uh, passenger compartment here. Just paint it black, and I'm going to shoot the entire thing with one of the two these two brown Model Masters colors, and. Then I guess I'll go back and hand paint possibly the inside portions with a darker color. I don't know. Not 100% sure yet Yet how I'm going to do that. To get a uh, somewhat of a two-tone wood grain effect. I did get the fenders painted here. Um, painted them with uh, Tamiya gloss black. Gave it a... I'm not real good with the Tamiya paint yet. Getting a good gloss. But anyway, I got a somewhat of a... Little more than a semi-gloss which i think would be more uh at least closer to what i think a model t would have would have had on it wouldn't have had super high gloss anyway and i've got some other parts painted they're over here the engine block and the chassis and all that stuff so i got to get um these things painted so i think i'll do some painting on this body section here and come back and probably end this video um but yeah, I'm going to shoot some paint on it and we'll see how this is going to turn out. So I'll be right back. 
All right, so I got it painted. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, got the wheels painted. I wanted to go with wood. I, I looked at some depot hacks online and you would see them with wood, wood, wood wheels or painted wheels. And I think they all were probably wood, but I just decided to, uh, to make, to wood man, to make paint mine as if they were wood. Um, got the seats, the rear seats painted. Um, I put clear. So I painted this really quick first for the focus. I painted this all with a tan color and then I went in and just hand painted all the panels inside it. Taped off the roof because the roof is black. So I just taped it off so I wouldn't, you know, the paint would stay on there. And then I shot some testers clear over top of it. Where's that? Right here. I've had this stuff for, since I started back in the modeling. But this gloss coat, I just cut it with some um, uh, leveling thinner. Gosh, I couldn't think, sorry. So I just cut it with that, and it won't leave a heavy gloss. It's wet right now. I just sprayed this stuff. But it will leave enough gloss to make it look like it's got a coat of varnish on it. You know, and that's kind of what I'm going for. I think I am going to do a little bit of dry brushing on some of the like these it's just kind of plain kind of plain Jane sitting there so I think I'm gonna take some uh, a wood color and dry brush some on there especially on the front here it's just just about bland so I'll do that but this is a uh, like I say if you're up for a challenge get you one of these it's not a bad kit it's really not you're just dealing with uh, you're dealing with old molds. That's all there is to it. Old technology. I think it's kind of fun, actually. Um, it's it's nice and refreshing to grab a model kit that that is. Let me turn this camera around. I, know, I always just like have it on the model. I don't want to do that all the time. Anyway, put a focus on me. Anyway, yes, it's it's fun to sometimes get a, a kit like a Aoshima, a new Ravel, even the older Ravels. Um, something that the tooling is like super like sophisticated. And man, they go together nice. There's hardly any fitting issues, but yet you grab a kit like this and it takes a little bit more work, but you're some it's almost as if you're so much more proud of it when you are finished just because my, I don't know if you see it, my 48 Ford right there. Turn this off. It's a little chilly today. But my 48 Ford um, IMC, it was really tough. But it was, in the end, it looks nice. I think it looks really nice. But in the end, it was like more gratifying because you have to put in, uh, you have to really use your skills to, to get some, some of those things to fit just right. And I think that taking on a kit like this, is 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 somewhat like that this is this kit's probably from the 60s this is from way back and they've just re-boxed re and reboxed and reboxed and there it is so get yourself one if you want to have fun do some wood um wood graining and things like that i encourage you to to uh to grab a kit like this it doesn't have to be this one there's several old there's i see a 31 ford model a woody i've got a couple of those the, there, there's plenty of woody cars and things that come from older molds and uh, you can experience what people experienced back in those days as far as dealing with uh, the less sophisticated way that model tooling was made so anyway guys thanks for watching this video um, I'm not even sure how long this thing is because it's taken me like this is probably <laughs> this is probably literally like a week or a week and a half two weeks since the first segment I know you guys see it all in just a few minutes but um, it is definitely, um, uh, definitely, I lost my train of thought. It's not as, probably not as long as I think it is, or it might be way longer than I think it is. I have no idea. I don't remember how many clips I've had. I don't think, but just a few. Anyway, there it is. That's what I built. I'm building. I'll come back on the second part and we will, let's see. There it is. We'll have this thing put together or the final assembly. Pretty much everything's painted and ready to go together. So we'll do that. A little bit of details. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Hobby Nut Models for all your hobby needs, um, as well as the Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group. Go join if you haven't already. 
have a lot of fun over there. Patreon group, thank you guys um, for your support uh, in that manner. And we'll have a live stream again soon. And to all of you that buy stickers and things off my uh, spring store, I greatly appreciate that too. But most importantly, I appreciate you watching this video and uh, hitting that like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that too. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And we will see you all. I don't know if this will be the next video or what's on this bench will be the next video. I don't know. But anyway, see you later. Take care. Bye.